the Red Cross. Yeah, well, the Red Cross is offering their services down here. They're obviously much more active up on the uh, Portland, or excuse me, the Seattle end and the Tacoma and DuPont area where the wreck is. But but there are a couple people standing by here. I'm going to back up and let photographer Robert, uh, well, he can't see them now. They're being blocked. Anyway, a couple people with the Red Cross here on hand to help anybody who has any questions, needs some help, uh, knows family members. Uh, you know, they, they're here. They're, they're here for the people. Um, and, and they're willing and ready to help out in, in any way that they can. I should tell you that uh, traffic here is starting to pick up a little bit now at Union Station. When we got here shortly after uh, you know, we were dispatched, it was about 9.30 or so, the train was supposed to have arrived at 9.20. Uh, people had pretty much left already that were to get on the next train to go down to Eugene. They put them on an alternate uh, train, and they've since headed out. So it was quiet here, but that Cascades line is due to come back in here. Uh, there was another one due in at noon, and, of course, there will be some delays along that uh, along that line, you know, but uh, we're not sure exactly when that train will come in. Uh, we're trying to talk to some people here and find out if anybody knows anyone who was on that train, has friends or family and relatives. So far, uh, we haven't heard uh, any anybody here that knows anyone that was on that train, which I suppose is fortunate news for now, but uh, we'll certainly